What is disaster recovery? That's what we'll take a look at in this module. So what is a disaster? Any significant event that causes disruption of information technology processing facilities, thus affecting the running of the business uh, in a smooth manner. So what is disaster recovery? Uh, DR or disaster recovery is an area of security that allows an organization to quickly um, to maintain or quickly resume mission critical IT functions following a disaster. Primary site disaster, um, uh, there, you know, there was heavy uh, flooding and the computing processing or the computer processing facilities uh, are underwater, submerged underwater. The uh, data center uh, cannot run at the primary site, so we uh, invoke the disaster recovery and move over to a, um, uh, an alternate site or the DR site. What could cause the invocation of a DR failover to the DR site? Natural disaster, uh, such as floods, earthquakes, lightning, storm, other types of disasters also, uh, and a disaster caused by human actions, such as riot, fire, terrorist act, or a malicious uh, uh, you know, attempt by a person who, has, who, has, uh, who wants to harm the organization. What is the difference between DR, um, disaster recovery, and business continuity? So DR is an IT function, and business continuity is owned by the business operations. DR is an IT function, whereas business continuity addresses keeping all the essential aspects of a business functioning despite disruptive events. So DR is actually a part of business continuity, because business continuity is the bigger umbrella, and DR is one module, which is an IT module, which is looked after by the IT department. Now, this is a diagram showing the DR and business continuity and disaster recovery life cycle, which match to a great extent. So what you do is first you identify what the risks are and you do a risk assessment, and then you analyze those risks by doing an impact analysis. So there may be 10 risks and you analyze each risk and, and analyze the impact, the probability, the likelihood of those risks, and you, do, you would probably rate the risks and prioritize the risks. And based on the risks and the threats, you then design uh, a solution with, and, and, and uh, adopt a strategy. And step number four is that you execute so that you plan development and execution. You actually develop a complete plan and execute the plan so that you would put up a DR site and implement the, the business continuity uh, plan also. And then you measure. So you the plan, the test, and the maintenance. So what you do is that you would actually monitor and measure and do the DR drills, for example, or the business continuity drills, and you measure and maintain. And then this life cycle goes around and continues. So there are three steps uh, in disaster recovery. The first one is invoking the failover, uh, which is the failover to the DR site. The second one is restoration of the services facilities on the primary site. Now, um, the, uh, the, the invocation has actually happened on the DR site. Services are running now on the alternate site, from the alternate site. But in the meantime, you recover the primary site. And then the third step is that you recover back to the primary site and all the computing, uh, computer processing facilities, IT processing uh, facilities are, are shifted back to the uh, primary site. What is a DR plan? So um, a DR plan is developed by organizations because this is a very detailed um, you know, activity uh, to, to strategize, to assess the risks, um, to develop the DR strat strategy, um, to build the DR facilities, to actually do DR drills, to measure um, and be ready and inform and train people. Um, all of this is very detailed and organizations develop the DR plans and business continuity plans as well. And these are documented, structured approaches to dealing with unplanned incidents. And it becomes a master plan and the organization actually then follows that. And then you have the DR plan checklist, which is a scope of the activity uh, gathering relevant network infrastructure documents, identifying the most serious threats and vulnerabilities and the most critical assets. So uh, the DR plan, um, uh, when you're developing a DR plan, you need to do all of these activities. And you would be identifying uh, current DR strategies, identifying emergency response team, management review and approval of the DR plan, 
testing the plan or doing a drill, updating the plan, implementing a DR plan audit. And uh, this uh, URL that you actually see on the screen is a sample DR plan, a very good one, which provides all the items that we've just mentioned in the uh, checklist that I just showed you. Thank you.